Hey everyone, this is Mark McCray. I want to bring you another lesson from Live Big, Die Empty. And today what we're going to talk about are nine purpose, passion, and power questions. One of the common questions I get is, Mark, how can I know my purpose? How can I know what I'm called to do? How can I know what I'm made to do? And I've got nine questions, and I want you to answer them. I want you to pull out a sheet of paper, get a pen, and answer these questions. But let's go through them really quickly so that you know some questions you can start to ask yourself so that you can get closer to the true purpose, passion, and power that you've been called to. Number one is, what have I always been good at? Now, this is something that's fun, it's interesting. There are a number of things that you're good at, and people have always said, hey, you are the best person at baking cakes, or you are the best person at calculating those numbers and figures. So what is that area that you've always been good at, maybe even in a way that you're naturally good at it to the point where you don't recognize your own excellence in that area? So explore that. Number two, what or whom do I care about the most? All of us have passions. There's no need or purpose in denying it. There are some things that you care about more than others care about, and some things, some, some valid, valuable things that you just may not care about as much as some other things. For example, uh, it is important that we not destroy the rainforest. That's important. It's not necessarily an area in which I'm the most passionate about, though, so it's not an area that I want to dedicate my life to exploring. I care a lot more about making sure that I put tools and methods in place so that people just like you, people just like me, begin to live out our purposes and live out our passions and do what God has really called us to do. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what I feel more called about. I care more about that, so I get into that more. Just as a side note, even in my method of presenting this video, I don't consider myself a motivational speaker. There's nothing wrong with motivational speakers. But I care more about giving methodologies along with the hope. So let's continue. Number three, what arouses the most passion in me? So ask yourself, what do you get more passionate about? Now, this is not just anger passion, but it's also happiness passion. It's joy, it's sadness. What sorts of things evoke more emotions out of you? Number four, who do I admire the most? For me, I admire people like General Colin Powell, leaders like Abraham Lincoln, Hannibal Barca, Hannibal of Carthage. I admire great strategic leaders, great leaders of men, historical figures, strategists. You've got someone else. You might admire Mother Teresa. You might admire Oprah Winfrey. You might admire President Bush, President Obama, President Reagan, or President George Washington. Who do you admire the most? That'll be a cue for you in terms of looking down the road further to figuring out your purpose. Number five, what makes you feel most fulfilled? What brings a smile to your face? What are you doing when you just feel at peace, when you feel authentically comfortable and at peace with yourself? Number six, what do I love to do the most? Now this is different than being at peace and feeling fulfilled. This is just about sheer pleasure. When you're doing blank, you feel wonderful, you feel great. Number seven, what do I feel made for? Now, another way of putting this is what do you feel called to? There are certain things that I'm doing that I just feel like I'm built to do those things. I feel sometimes like all of life, my past employment, my past relationships, my education, have crafted me for certain types of roles. You probably have the same sort of experience where you can look back over your life and tell that I am just made to do this. First, it might be singing, it might be, um, uh, I've got a very dear friend who's a rocket scientist. And when you talk with her for five minutes, you can see that her whole persona, her whole makeup is such that she was made to be a rocket scientist. And you also see that I'm not. So uh, let's finish up here. When do I feel most like I'm working with God? Now to me, from a faith-based perspective, that's a very important question because all of us have experienced those moments where we feel like there's power working um, in us, through us, and with us in our task, that we're not doing it alone. So if you can tap into those moments and really be attuned to what's happening, then that may be a, a clue as well as to what your purposes are. And then finally, what do I feel most, what do I most want to be remembered for? So, if you were looking back at your life, if you were looking back 
say, 20 years from now, 30, 40, 50 years from now, what do you want people to say about you? What do you want to be known for? What is it that you want people to say, you know what, Steve, he was the best mechanic that I ever met, or Judy was the best and most caring nurse that I ever met. What do you want to be remembered for? Now, so pull out your sheet of paper, really do this exercise, and I believe that you're going to get closer in prayer to doing what you've really been called to do. So that's my challenge for you. But there's one final thing. You've got to be honest. If you're not honest, if you're filling in answers that you think other people want instead of what you know in your heart, then it's really not going to do you any good. So go through this honestly. Go through it in prayer. And I know that these nine questions are going to help you tap into your purpose, your passion, and the power that God has meant for you. Thank you.